This video is titled, I found the most dangerous hard drive on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and see what Tub's talking about. I'm not going to lie. Tub drops a video once every decade. I hope Tub's doing good. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes that, that creative burnout and that mental health shit with creators be a little difficult. So let's see what Tub's talking about. Um, found the most dangerous video, the most dangerous hard drive on the internet. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I have Osama Bin Laden's hard drive. What? That is a crazy, that's a crazy three seconds to start off on. I'm not going to hold you. I know that was a weird sentence to start the video off with, but yeah. yes, this hard drive that I'm holding in my hand right now contains 700 gigabytes worth of Osama Bin Laden's files. In these files, the a plethora fuck? of items can be found, including handwritten journal excerpts, home videos, American movies. Such okay, how did you obtain... There's so many. He gonna talk to us. He gonna talk to us. He 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 gonna tell going tell going explain. Tell going can be found, including handwritten journal excerpts, home videos, American movies such as Ice Age and American shows such as Tom and Jerry, anime, viral video downloads like Charlie bit my finger, he's, adult he's videos, chatting, he's chatting, and chatting, so he's much chatting. more. To be specific, it's 747 gigabytes worth of files, and I have those files right here in this room he's chatting pretty cool in fact i'm the first ever youtuber making a video on this let alone that has access to these files and i'm going to explain exactly how i was able to download all of these personal files but first i'd like to discuss how this video is going to be formatted as it is a little bit different from my normal videos think of it as an extension of my i bought the most banned video on the internet video which came out around a year ago. In part one, I'll be giving you guys information. Mm. I'm doing this because I don't just want to get right into the files. I need to give you guys a lot of context. Mm. In part two, I'll talk to you guys about the legality of what I can and can't show you. In part three, okay, I'm going to browse the files for you guys, of course, censoring what needs to be censored. I always appreciated when Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers would go on the deep web and just show us his raw clicking journeys that he would get into. So that's how that part will go. And finally, we'll head on to my final thoughts. And then after Damn. that, there'll be a little life update to explain why I didn't upload for a month. I hope you guys still remember Remember me, but without further ado, oh, let's head on to the Top information. Don't miss what she was Part about. one information. I don't want this video to be a history lesson, but I do have to give you guys some context, even if almost everyone watching knows who Osama bin Laden is. And I really hope this video doesn't get limited ads. I know I complain about that a lot, but it, it's a Twitch. We're just doing st strictly research, strictly research. It's all in GTA 6, you know what I'm saying? GTA 6 for the PS5. Um, strictly research this whole video, you know what I'm saying? Real issue I have to go through. Y'all can't complain when I promote Earl. <laughs> anyway, Bin Laden was born in 1957 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, to an extremely wealthy family. His father was Mohammed bin Awad bin Laden, a Saudi millionaire from Hadramut, Yemen, and founder of the construction company Saudi Bin Laden Group. Bin Laden was known for being a Saudi Arabian-born militant, mastermind behind the 11th attacks, and founder of the pan-Islamic militant organization Al-Qaeda. But when growing up, he studied at King Abdul Aziz University until 1979, when he joined the Mujahideen forces fighting against the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. He helped fund the Mujahideen by funneling arms, money, and fighters from the Arab world into Afghanistan. And this is where he really started gaining popularity among many Arabs. In 1988, he formed Al-Qaeda. Now, Al-Qaeda was founded in the late 1980s when bin Laden was in his early 30s, and it began as a network to support for Muslims fighting against the Soviet Union during the Afghan war, in which members were recruited throughout the Islamic world. But when the Soviets withdrew from Afghanistan in 1989, the organization dispersed but continued to oppose what its leaders considered corrupt Islamic regimes, which okay. to them meant the entirety of the U.S. On August 23rd, history lesson, 19... Y'all y'all background if y'all if y'all don't know uh, about, about bro his lineage, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably, once, like he said, once you get into the second part, like, it'll probably make a lot more sense, but y'all want to know the context before we actually get into the rest of this shit. 96, Osama declared war on the U.S., launching a series of bombings and related attacks. His involvement in the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombings landed him a spot on the FBI's list of the 10 most wanted fugitives and the 10 most wanted terrorists. Damn. I didn't think I would be talking about a top 10 right now, but yeah, the FBI had a top 10 list. I guess they still do. The FBI had a top... Well, America Most Wanted isn't a top 10 list, but then we got a top 10 top 10 list? God damn, nigga. Now, I don't mean to fast forward, but we all know what happened on 11th, 2001. And if I censored it, it's because I don't want limited ads, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And YouTube reviewer that's watching this, this video is educational because educational, you guys didn't give Twitch. that documentary strictly limited ads. So there's no reason to give me limited ads. I'm doing the same thing, except wow, I'm a guy good, in my room, not a production company. Anyway, we all know what happened on that day. Horrible tragedy where many lives were lost. After that, in December, 2001, Bin Laden went into hiding after evading capture by US forces. And he went into hiding in the Tora Bora cave complex, which was quite literally 
in a mountain. In the following years, US forces searched for him along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border, but he wasn't found. Then, in October 2004, about a week before that year's presidential election, bin Laden emerged in a videotaped message in which he claimed the responsibility for the 11th attacks. Wow. Fast forwarding some more, Bin Laden would remain hidden, but this it's time- It's crazy that Tubbs really teaching us a lot more than some of our teachers is teaching us. It's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, Chad. Some teachers just get to fucking like, doing like, like straight fucking like, I don't know, straight PowerPoints. Make sure you take notes type shit, but shit, tough, tough teaching us something though. Conference included compound which he had custom built, located just half a mile from Pakistan's premier military training academy in Abbottabad. Bin Laden didn't live alone though. There were at least 20 other people living with him, ranging anywhere from 5 years old to even older than him at the time. The compound had 3 floors, livestock, securities, TVs with signal, and that was basically it. No one was allowed to leave and no one was allowed to enter. Eventually on May 2nd, 2011, Osama's compound was raided and he was killed at gunpoint by now former Navy SEAL and member of SEAL Team Six, Robert O'Neill. I went here, and there's Osama bin Laden, and he's standing. Shout out, Robert. We appreciate you, Robert. Shout out to you, bro. In GTA, standing up, uh, he's got his hands on his wife Amal's shoulders. I'm closer to him than we hey, are. Joe right Budden, now. nigga. Yo, why Joe Budden always like rocking like fits like these, nigga? Like I feel like sitting, like showing Joe Budden legs is illegal. I don't know, nigga. Like he just he's just wearing shorts, but I just feel like it's illegal to see this nigga legs. I don't know why. That, that might be weird, but I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. No. He's maneuvering. He's not surrendering. He's a threat. He's a And I shot him. So I shot him twice in the face over a mall shoulder, and I shot him again as I'm moving a mall. So he's down here now, and I can hear him exhaling. He's, he's dead. I don't give a fuck who you are. That, I just killed a guy in front of his family. That's, you, I moved his kid. I pushed them back. and but, So I'm moving them out of the way. And my guy comes up to me, and he goes, you okay? And I said, no. Um, what do we do now? And he said, now we find the computers. We do this every night. You've done this hundreds of times. And I said, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm back. And he goes, yeah, you just killed Osama bin Laden. Your life to change. Get to fucking work. In GTA. Part two, the legality. Damn. So while bin Laden was in hiding, he would use computers. What a shocker. It actually is kind of a shock if you think about it. Anyway, it's theorized that people would smuggle flash drives for him. Uh, no one really knows though, but it's theorized that yeah, people would smuggle flash drives to get news to him, but yeah. he didn't prefer that. He actually preferred speaking face to face with people because he didn't like, he didn't like the internet basically. He did not like the internet. But if we're going to talk about the legality of what I'm about to show you guys, we have to talk about how I gained access to these files. Yeah, well, in 2017, the CIA released all the digital material that was seized in the Abbottabad compound, except for mm -hmm. everything that was copyrighted, such as the anime and the Western movies. Now, there's no way the, this nigga, there's no way this nigga had anime on a flash drive, bro. Like, there, there's no way this nigga was, had, had just had Tokyo Ghoul propped up on the flash drive, nigga, save like, like illegally bringing in Tokyo Ghoul into, you know what I'm saying, just on the flash drive, just watching that shit, my nigga, because there, there's just no way, bro. Bad compound. Well, in 2017, Naruto. the CIA released all the digital material that was seized in the Abbottabad compound, except for everything that was copyrighted, such as the anime and the Western movies. Now, why did Osama bin Laden have Ice Age and anime and viral videos like Charlie? I read through the files a while back, bro, played Mario Kart. Like, that is crazy. Bit my finger on his hard drive. No one really knows. But the most popular theory is that they were used for his children to be entertained or his grandchildren. Just kids around the house just to be entertained. It's just funny thinking about the possibility that Osama could have been watching anime. You know, we're just thinking that it was Thanks. for the kids, but Osama could have been watching anime. And on top of that, all the computers were pre-owned. Yeah. So we don't really know much. You no, know, yeah, Osama could have been watching anime, but it also could have been the previous owner. Or it could have been someone that smuggled a flash drive and he copied the files to that hard drive. We won't ever fully know. And yes, I know the idea of Osama watching anime is incredibly funny but it could have happened anyway visiting cia.gov specifically where it lets you download the osama files you'll be met with this notice cia resolved the technical issues associated with the november 1st 2017 posting of the abadabad compound material removing operating system and other copyrighted files as well as files that potentially pose a risk to users cia also converted the microsoft office files into portable document format pdf to enable viewing of the material from any device and to minimize any risk to users and converted executable files files that run programs on a computer to a format that no longer poses a risk to users for all removed mm. files the original file name is listed in a glossary to allow you holy shit these niggas are a lot better than me my nigga if i seen this chat i'll be like damn i'm not reading all that i'm not gonna hold you bro that's tough i guess i guess shit just not gonna get done nigga because i'm just i'm just simply not reading all that my nigga you know what i'm saying like these niggas are a lot better than me i'm not gonna capture a lot better than me
users to trace the disposition of the file and to understand the specific reason of the file's removal or conversion. Scrolling down, the website gives you options of what you wish to download. And you could download all the files at once or you could download certain sections. We have Bin Laden's journal, which is 118 megabytes. We have audio, which is 30 gigabytes. We have documents, which is 16 gigabytes. Damn. We have images, which is seven gigabytes. We have video, which is 162 gigabytes. Damn. And PDFs, which are 12 gigabytes. Now you may be thinking, Tuv, this is so easy to download. I mean, all you gotta do is go to the website and click download. <laughs> Why are you claiming to be the first person to make a video on this? Well, let me just tell you, it's not as easy as it seems. Let me explain. Getting these files was one of the most stressful things I've ever done on this channel. And I'm not even kidding when I say that. I'm not trying to hype this up. Let's just talk about the process of getting Osama Bin Laden's files. So trying to download the file straight from the website that is up right now. God damn, error. nigga. Hold on. Nigga. Right now you downloaded 258 gigabytes directly on your nigga y'all better have some good ass fucking machine uh pcs my nigga you downloading 258 gigabytes directly to your fucking computer nigga god damn nigga and that's just one of them nigga there's one that's 162 gigabytes like that's just one of them nigga god damn nigga y'all better have the the Best PC in that game with like fucking over 5 million gigabytes of storage on it, my nigga. God damn, nigga. And I know that there's, there's more of these. It's just like, damn, bro. 258 for one zip file is crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. You'll get this error. Fuck! Looks like we're out of solutions. But no, I had a trick of my tattoo sleeve. The Wayback Machine. A website that archives almost every website on the internet. I mean, I figured if they claimed that you can download the files, the website should have worked some time ago. I ended up being right. I went to a screenshot taken on August 1st, 2019, and boom, the files started downloading. Wait, a day to fucking download? Nigga, oh, I, I, bet, I bet it is gonna take a fucking day to download. It's 258 gigabytes. I bet it will take a day to download, bro. I'm surprised it it's taking a day. That shit should take a millennium to download. And boom, the file started downloading. Wait, a day to fucking download? Well, that makes sense. It's 700 gigabytes. I'll wait. I'll wait. Except it would crash about 10 minutes in. I tried- oh, I'll be mad as fuck. You just, you just downloading something. Does that ever happen to y'all where you're downloading something that's so close to downloading and it should just like crash or cut out? I hate when that shit happens. I tried this about 30 times and it would happen every single time time That's you crazy. see downloading such a big file through a simple web browser isn't ideal at all google chrome was shitting its pants and getting fucked at the same time i had to call it quits so i decided to download a download manager and download it through there let's not stress out google chrome let's put the stress on a download manager but that never worked the download remained at zero percent i was yeah. genuinely gonna give up on this video i was like yeah okay let's move on to another topic my dreams were crushed of being the first youtuber with osama bin Laden's files but then out of curiosity you know one last solution maybe i decided to hit up my developer friend casp and just mm. ask like yo do you know anything i could do to get these files and this dude is a fucking goat he whipped up a script that would automatically download all the files directly Damn, to the so niggas got discord moderators that are cut like those yo bbg discord mods when y'all go and get on some shit like these you know what i'm saying bro said i wrote a script so you can download bro is bro's on some real it shit bro's on some real it shit you know what i'm saying shout, shout, shout out cast the hard drive that I have. I have this I hard drive, got it from Amazon. This physical thing, no, it is not Osama's hard drive, but we're talking about the internal. And he even let me sign into his server, so all the stress wouldn't be on my computer, it would be on his computer over there. And after four long fucking days, I finally had the files. I had access to one of the most dangerous men in the world's files. Personal files huge shout out to casp though this yeah. video couldn't have been done without him and i told him that if it worked i would give him a fat shout out so here it is make sure to follow him on twitter at dev casp and hit him up if you need any coding scripting or my i had to hit the nigga up he really he really likes that i go a cap that nigga just took 258 gigabytes well 700 gigabytes to the chin that's tough anything development wise done he's your guy okay so what can and can't i show you guys these files do include death videos i'm talking gore wow. which obviously youtube's terms of service will not let me post that but that includes animals and humans and that's i know this crazy. because i watched the other youtube video on this topic no it's not by a youtuber it's by a company it's actually by national geographic but yes i still hold the title for the first solo YouTube 
YouTuber to have Osama's files. Though those people actually got the files, uh, including the copyrighted material, like the Tom and Jerry episode. I did not get that. I did browse through the files and I couldn't find anything, but like they said, they removed all copyrighted material. For some reason, when I was browsing, I didn't find any gore, but if I do find it, of course, I'm going to censor it. I wanted to kind of just browse with you guys. I browsed a little bit just to make sure I had the files, but it is really odd because I have 747 gigabytes yeah, unless the they're files, in right? another file type, which I don't have a program to open them with then it wasn't meant to be. But in this hard drive, there are a lot of home videos, presumably recorded by Osama's eldest son, Hamza bin Laden. Okay, I think I've given you guys the proper context and the proper- Now we got all context. Now, I'm not gonna hold you. I know that basically, like, I know what he kind of stated that we're gonna see my nigga, but I feel like some crazy shit going like, some crazy, crazy shit going pop up information to go ahead and browse the raw files with you guys before we head on to that i want to say that today is the first day of the christmas drop over at earl doesn't exist.com w earl w uh shop earl you know what i'm saying w merch plug all right using my actual computer i'm going to be using a virtual machine a virtual machine is a computer inside your computer pretty cool you just download the program called virtual box you can download any machine of your liking Nigga, I watched the whole video like this, nigga. Suck my fucking dick, nigga. Linux, Mac, Windows. I'm gonna be using Windows just because I'm most familiar with it, but shout out Ubuntu. I remember the good old days when I would install Ubuntu onto my Chromebook. That was so fun. But I'm doing this just for my safety, just in case there's anything malicious. So here we are, default wallpaper. Uh, let's go to files. Here it is. This is the uh, hard drive that I plugged in. I made it so this is readable. And here are the files. So no skipping tub sponsor. That's not tub sponsor. That's tub's uh merch plug. And don't try to make the the tub and Tommy comparison. Tub only. I mean Tommy only had had one sponsor, and you know what I'm saying. He don't even fuck with them niggas. So. These uh this is the real one right here. So I be, there were a lot of attempts. This was the zip file. We had to unzip it. That took a long time, and we actually couldn't use WinRAR, Dude, which is my personal gigabytes. favorite. I had to use Seven Zip, which was very interesting. But here. How long are the before? files there's another um, folder i guess in this what is it 231 probably 30 here's minutes. everything they're sectioned off like this and i guess let's just browse the files i mean i don't i don't know what else to say okay so first one doesn't have much uh pdf let's open that up looks like it's a blank pdf we have a program i'll be i'm not gonna lie chat i'll be scared as fuck this app can't run on your pc i'll be scared as fuck opening this shit up my nigga because you can see anything clicking what on if i double click it this app can run on your PC. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to be clicking the HTML files or the PDF files. I'm not trying to read, let alone in a language that I don't understand. But we could browse the images and videos. So here we have this. I don't know what this is. What is this? Don't know what that is either. But is this? this looks like a gamer pick, like an Xbox gamer pick. What is this? What oh, that's a cool animation. Was Osama making sprite art? Is he making pixel art? I make pixel art. What is this video? <laughs> like a default Windows fucking like it looks like a loading screen. And Tom gonna have this slender man has music in the back with his ambiance in the back. What is this? Why are these all just like sound effects? Uh, I mean there's so much to view, you guys, like seven hundred gigabytes? Like Whoa, what is that? Oh, okay, this is gore. I just found some gore. Okay, this is actual gore. Okay. So it's an image of what looks like an Arab man just completely beat up almost disfigured wow yeah. oh wow i didn't wow i really thought they got rid of all the gore wow so to make this easier for us i'm gonna look up dot jpeg at the top right and then i'm gonna look up dot 3gp which is the types yeah, of files like the video files there's also dot mp4s but you know i don't want to be scrolling well, my thing is, why does this nigga have why did this nigga have all this gore in the same files that he has the anime in and the cartoon so if it was for his son or whatever why the fuck are like all these joints in just in one I don't know, bro. Through all those HTML files, I don't care about those. So well, actually, there was there was separate shit, so it's like between videos and photos and shit like that. I know that, but it was still like all on one Dude, drive. Dot I'm sure. JPEG with the E with the letter E in it, and then later we'll do um dot JPEG shit without the letter E. Really don't anime. know what the difference is between a JPEG and a JPEG file. Looks like a fighter jet with a, is that a bomb right there? Oh, wow. Okay, here. Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna have to be blurred. Okay, so this is a bunch of kids, like literally babies, probably his grandchildren, just taking pictures of them. Innocent pictures, nothing crazy. What is this? Hack, Hack boy. boy. 
<laughs> hacker. This looks like one of those like skeleton memes that are like, I just poop my pants. I need. To, I actually want to save this. Hold on. This is actually. Oh, I already have it technically. This is funny as fuck. Hack boy. Yeah. So sorry that most of this is blurred. There's a bunch of babies here, and I am not gonna show these kids' faces. I swear. I thought I saw Shakira. I'm not even kidding. Ah, uh, that's a, that's a child. This is another gore image. Oh, this reminds me of, fuck, the, I bought the most banned video on the internet. Like, I'm getting flashbacks. It's almost like this where I'm speechless, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that Tuff can do this shit, my nigga, because I can't look at, I can't look at all this shit, bro. Me personally, nigga, I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't even looked into this topic, my nigga, but Tuff really is, is down to his craft, and he really care about what he be doing, like, when it comes to all this scary shit, so he be on that shit, my nigga. Um, so shout out to Tuff, but nigga, like, I would, I would, I wouldn't even be man. in. Oh, this shit. fuck. Yeah, more. This one's like child medical. I'm I'm probably not gonna click him anymore. That was enough for me. This is Shakira. That is Shakira. Why is there a random image what of Shakira fuck? in Osama's files? That's weird. There, hey, there's some Illuminati shit going on. And jeez, that we have here. Okay, this is where. Oh, game? this is the anime. Wait, wait, no, it's like an arcade game. What? This is so interesting. Wait, what the fuck? Hold up, let me move it. This is so interesting. Insert coin. Literally old school. Whoa, this is actually fucking cool. What the fuck? I see, I see Street Fighter right there. What, <laughs> what game the is fuck? this? Someone in the comments. Said, oh, oh, it's the it's the bubble one. Bubble Bobble. I guess that's what it's called. Bubble Bobble. Yeah. That is crazy. What the fuck? Why did he have this on Someone his computer? This is so specific. Yeah. Oh, what? This is actually getting kind of cool. What the fuck? I'm actually like. This is, this is this is this is so, so interesting. What is this? Yo, someone tell me what game what games these are. Who would have known Osama was a gamer? I'm just kidding. We don't know if this was his again. This could be pre-owned, but so I'm guessing the games are installed. I'm guessing the games yeah, are installed in some right .exe files, which the CIA had removed or at least Free made non-usable, so that won't get any viruses. But this gives us a hint to as to what games are on this hard drive. What is this? Is this Zelda? No. Oh, it's that one game. I remember that. I never thought I would have a nostalgic trip on Osama's fucking hard drives. Jurassic Park. There's a there's a Sega Jurassic Park game? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I just realized I might have to blur every time I scroll because like I don't know where there is gore and where there isn't. Let's look up the three GP. Okay, so these are a bunch of home videos. Uh, I'm gonna have to blur that. Oh hey, I found anime. I this is anime, right? That is some of the worst quality I have ever this nigga was watching anime in fucking 5p my nigga this nigga was watching anime in 72p my nigga some of the worst quality this nigga didn't even know what was going on in these in these and what anime is this my nigga bro this nigga was watching it in the worst quality ever imaginable <laughs> like I pray this joint don't have subtitles on it cause I know that shit was not seen bro oh shit Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's just like a random flash. It looks like that brain pop animation. Like Tim and Moby. Nigga, this is not anime. I don't know what this is. Quality sucks, sucks though, but... Dude, Buddy's mic is peaking. Jesus. Holy fuck, the quality. Oh. He's saying, move away. This is my girl. What? What? <laughs> Goofy ass! <laughs> what? Why is that on the fly? <laughs> yeah, nigga. What the fuck? Hold on, go back. Go back, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit don't even look real. Goofy ass bike. What? Oh, that was on the big beat top. What the fuck, oh, bro? Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is this here? <laughs> wow. Hey, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much. There's not much. A good look of dot mp4. This looks like more music videos. It's literally just music videos. I guess he needed to be entertained or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I just f fucking found an ISIS video. Or not ISIS. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out. Okay, that was that was more gore. I think we've seen enough. Damn. Yeah, and, I'll be uh, seeing this I'm getting kind of freaked out by the videos that are on here. I don't want to show anything else. I don't want to get targeted by someone. I don't think I would. This was released by the CIA, and there's already a documentary out about it. But yeah. And I'm reacting to this for completely educational purposes, not to infringe on nobody's rights or inciting anything. Twitch.
Uh, let's head on over to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts of what we just went through. Osama Bin Laden's hard drive. Super interesting. I don't know if there's been another person whose hard drive got leaked like that. And especially someone so dangerous, so well known for being a horrible person. It's so interesting seeing Damn, the files. Man. And we saw, I'm telling you guys, like literally 1%, maybe less than 1% of mm -hmm. what those hard drives had to offer. Damn. Remember, we skipped all the HTML files and we skipped all of the PDF files simply because... I can't read them. And it was very interesting uh, seeing the arcade games. So dude had some arcade games installed and we were able to see the images. Remember, they were pre-owned. Maybe they weren't his or maybe they were his kids. As for the gore, yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable to look at. I wasn't expecting any. You I think there was like Kanye or Michael Jackson. Nigga, come on, bro. Come on, bro. He was ahead of his time. Funny thing is, nobody's using a flash drive. A flash drive fell off. I ain't gonna cap. Niggas just use iCloud. Niggas iCloud's about to start getting leaked, my nigga, but... Uh, Niggas, flash drives are low-key falling off. I'm not going to cap to you. I really thought the CIA had removed it. But yeah, this really is a once-in-a-lifetime video. I don't really know when a criminal's hard drive is going to get leaked like this to the public. So CIA released this again. Am I scared that I'm going to be targeted by someone? No. The CIA released it. Don't get mad at me. You're mad at them. All right? I'm just a normie that happens to have an audience <laughs> but yeah super interesting video if you guys thought it was entertaining make sure to leave a like and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i do want to talk about why i left youtube for a month i'll say it very quickly but i do want to make a full update video on my second channel so maybe by the time this video comes out it's on my second channel i don't know but basically i was going through a lot of mental stuff like horrible mental stuff where i just felt a ton of pressure when it came to everything but good news is I'm back. I feel w. great. And I have a girlfriend. My girlfriend, Amber, tough, really, man. really helped me out. And probably one of the darkest points of my life. So shout out, Amber, my beautiful girlfriend. She really w. is a ride tough, or die. Man. And I love her so much. Like I'm telling y'all, that fucking... I don't know. Niggas don't be worrying about, like, the, the YouTuber's mental health. Niggas is always wondering where the fuck a video is at. You know what I'm saying? But they don't ever question if the niggas is good or not. So I'm glad he's better. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's better. Shout out to Tell. Shout out to Tell. That was a good video. It was interesting as fuck. Very different from his other videos, but... It was um it was definitely interesting. I ain't gonna cap. Definitely interesting. So W uh video out of tub. W, w video out of tub.